Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards, and I come to you live every Tuesday and Thursday with a fun new project. I came out to the studio about 6.30 just to make sure everything was prepped and ready to go for the live. And like, I don't know, 15 minutes ago, I heard these noises outside. So I opened up the craft room door and it's raining. Oh, it smells amazing. I actually knew it was going to rain last week. Um, my body has been hurting. I don't know, the older we get, the more aches we have. And we can kind of predict the weather. So I actually did predict that it was supposed to rain. I obviously didn't know when, but I knew it was coming. So I called Bo, who's in the house, less than 50 feet away from me. And I asked him, I was like, can you come and get me after my live? He was like, no, there's an umbrella in the shop. So he actually was prepared because he knew it was going to rain and figured it was going to start raining when I was done with my live. And well, I think he might be a little bit of a keeper. So good evening, everybody. Welcome. Hopefully you guys had a great day. Um, my day started out good and then it was amazing. And now I'm here with you guys. I got an amazing nap today. I know the older I get, the more I enjoy naps. And it was like a four hour nap. It was amazing. So I probably won't sleep tonight, but that's okay. So hello, Heather. Hello, Valerie. If you're just logging on, say hello, just so I know you're here. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the weather out. I love the rain. I'm excited to sleep with the windows open so we can hear it all night. It doesn't rain very often here. It is really chilly though. Not as chilly as back east. I will not lie. I think they're at like negative 15. So we can count our blessings that it is not that cold here. So hello, Anna. How are you? So um, today's card is actually, um, you can use it for a normal card or you can use it as a gift card as well. I know for the last couple of lives, I've been doing different kinds of gift cards and I wasn't sure if everybody was exhausted of gift cards and if you're done making gift cards. So I thought, why don't we do one that can be either a card or a gift card? So hopefully we can get through all of them today. Um, I was going to make two that are Christmassy, and then I wanted to show you the same exact way to do one that is not Christmas, that you can use it for a birthday. And there's this bugger of a fly that literally will not go away. So hopefully he doesn't bug us too much. Okay, let me flip you over or flip you down so we can get started. Okay, so here is the card we're going to be making. Um, I know I've made these a few times and I think they're so fun and so cute and you can pull it out and you can write your sentiment or you can attach a gift card on the back, right on the front or just attach the gift card or no gift card and uh, just write your sentiment and it slides right back in. It is a tight squeeze so you might need to adjust your measurements just a tad bit. And it fits perfectly in our envelopes. I brought an envelope over just so I could show you. So the measurements that we're going to do today are perfect for um, our envelopes. Okay, let's get started. Hello, Stephanie. Good evening. Okay, so we are going to start with a piece of cardstock. And this measures three and a half inches by eight inches. And I scored it right in half at four. So I went ahead and folded it and my original card, let me bring it back in. My original one, I did not emboss um, the cardstock and I thought, hmm, I wonder if it needs a tiny bit of embossing. So I did run this through the textured embossing folder and if you run it through open, it won't fit. So I did score it or, or when I scored it, I um, used the bone folder, creased it really good and then I just lined it up to the top after it was folded, ran it through the embossing machine and it did both sides. So that is a way that you can um, go ahead and emboss this and it's embossed on both sides and you only have to run it through one time and you don't get those funky little creases. Okay, so again, this is three and a half by eight and I scored it at four and I went ahead and ran it through the embossing folder. So we're gonna open this up and we're really only gonna use tear tape today. Um, you want your tear and tape right along the edge and you don't have to do both sides. You're just going to do one. You need to do both of these sides, not both of these sides. So we're going to go ahead and put tear and tape right on the edge because our 
piece of basic white is going to slide right on the inside. So you don't wanna, if you do happen to get your tear tape a little off, just cut this piece down and I'll go over this measurement once we get to it. But if your tear tape is over a little bit, just cut this piece down and you'll totally be fine. So we're going to go ahead and peel this off. There we go. And I just like to come up here because there's a little hang uh, piece of tape hanging off the edge. I'm just gonna roll those over just to make sure there's nothing hanging out. And we can literally close it. That's as easy as it gets for this card. So this piece of our basic white, it measures um, two and three fourths by a smidgen under five and a half. I did it a smidgen under five and a half because of the crease here at the bottom. I wanted it to go all the way down and I knew if I did it five and a half, it might not fit in our envelope. So it's a smidgen underneath five and a half. So two and three fourths by a smidgen under five and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this in. Open that up a tad bit, slide that in, and it fits perfectly. So we're just gonna push that all the way down. There we go. And then I have a piece of our designer series paper. You can use any designer series paper you want. Um, I have two from um, the, oh, I just lost the name of it. I'll think of it. Um, I have two pieces that we're gonna do in Christmas, and then I have one that we're going to do that's not Christmas. So I'm gonna flip this over, and we're only gonna put one piece of tear and tape along the bottom. Just like that. Easy peasy. And this, I don't think I did the measurements. It's four and a quarter by three, and I scored it right and a half at one and a half. So I didn't remove the tear tape off there yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold that over. Give that a good crease. There is my bone folder. Like I knew it was here. And now we can go ahead and peel this off. This is probably, I know I say this on every single card, but this card is super duper easy. Well, besides getting the tear tape off. So now all I'm going to do is I'm gonna set this up into the crease and I'm just gonna make sure it is um, even on both sides. I'm actually gonna pull this out just a tad, just in case so I don't glue it to the backing. Press it down and watch. Close it, bam. Look how easy that is. Move it around a little bit just so it gets centered. Super duper easy, right? So on the original card that I did, I used our um, basic white ribbon because I did it on the real red cardstock. So this one, I got thinking, why don't I do red ribbon? Because I didn't want to do red and red, but I think our old olive and the real red literally pops amazing. So I'm going to grab some mini glue dots. And usually I cut my ribbon before I um, attach it, but this time I'm not. Because I'm just taking this and I'm butting it up to the top right in the center and I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna pull this out just a smidgen. So I'm gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna grab my little poker tool, grab another mini glue dot, put it right here in the center. And now I can put my ribbon on top of it and trim that off. There we go. So on my original card, I didn't do this, but I think I'm going to, to show you guys what else you can do to kind of spice this up a little bit. So we are going to grab another mini glue dot. And again, I didn't measure any of this. I'm just working off of the spool and I'm going to put another piece right there. And then I'm gonna come in here put a mini glue dot, wrap that down, pull this out just so I have a little bit of wiggle, wiggle room to cut the ribbon. Now it really looks like it's a full presence. 
So we just have a little bit of decorating to do and that is it for this bad boy. I already went ahead and pre-tied a couple bows. So we're gonna put a bow on there. And then I have a piece of scratch paper. This is a quarter of an inch wide and it doesn't matter the length because we're going to trim off the edge. I'm gonna grab my Real Red, ink up Merry Christmas. And I took this Merry Christmas from the Peaceful Deer um, stamp set. It literally just came back in stock. So if you want this, the punch for this matching set um, is carrying over to the next catalog and it's in an Easter set. So if you don't already own this, the Deer um, stamp set will match a new one coming out in the spring mini catalog. But I'm using this Merry Christmas. So ink that up and I'm gonna come over here and hope that it's centered because I can't really see over my little camera and it wasn't too shabby. Close that up and I'm gonna bring in our triple banner punch. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in and I like to work with it upside down just so I can make sure it's even. Trim that off, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna snip with my paper snips right there. And you could put dimensionals on this if you wanted to. I just figured let's keep it super duper easy. And I'm just gonna tag the Merry Christmas right there. Okay, I actually think I like this color a million times better than the real red. Even though the real red is beautiful, I love it but I love, love, love the old olive. Okay, so we definitely have plenty of time. Let's do another one if you're just logging on. I won't go over all of the dimensions um, just because it's in the post. Before I went live, I went ahead and um, put it in there. And if you're just logging on, you might just want to see the project. Thank you, Renee. Thank you for all the hearts and the thumbs up. I love it. And if you love these videos, definitely share them with your friends. I would totally appreciate that. So I'm only putting tear tape on these two edges. I'm not putting it on the whole thing. So we're gonna peel this off. There we go. Close the bad boy or girl, whatever you wanna call it. We have our basic white and you could even put a sentiment on the inside as well if you wanted to. But you can use a, a mini dimension or a mini glue dot, attack your gift card to it, or it doesn't even have to be a gift card. It could totally just be a card. Slide this in. Yeah, I definitely think I like the old olive. Let's fold this. It could definitely be a thinking of you gift card, yep. So many possibilities, and it doesn't even have to be Christmas. After we do this last Christmas one, I am going to bring in um, some of our regular designer series paper from the annual catalog to show you it can also be a birthday. So literally, this does not have to be a one time a year. So I'm just gonna line that up, make sure it's even on both sides, press that down. And I am using tear tape because it is an interactive card and I'm afraid like the Tombow or our snail might not be strong enough for it. So I would definitely recommend using the tear tape. Okay, I really do like the red. So I am going to continue to use the red ribbon. So I'm going to snatch up a mini glue dot, put it in the center. Flip this around, kind of guide where you know the center is going to be. Grab another mini glue dot. That looks pretty good right there. Perfect. Let's pull this out a smidgen. There we go. Let's push that back in so we can get it lined up to do the top. Line that up, flip it over. This one you can pretty much just grab a mini glue dot and put 
right at the bottom because we already know where it needs to go. Let's trim that. There we go. And last but not least, we're going to add a bow and bring in another piece of scrap. I actually probably should have just done this at the same time as I did the other one, but that's okay. We still have a lot of time and one card left. So I'm going to stamp up the Merry Christmas. Put that aside. I'm going to close the ink so I don't wear it. Otherwise, I probably will. And I like to flip my um, the stamped piece upside down as well. So when I flip it over, I can make sure that I don't see any of my stamped words. So I know I'm not chopping it off. Just a little bit extra tidbits. If you chop it off, it's just paper. So we can totally make another one. It is not the end of the world. There we go. And I actually have a couple of the rhinestones from our last Facebook Live, the red rhinestones. They're just sitting beside me screaming my name. So I might just throw a couple of these guys on. Oops. There were two in that one. I might just sprinkle a couple of these guys on just to give it a little bit more bling bling. And I think it's super cute. Okay, so here are the three that we did in Christmas. And I really think I like the old olive a million times better, even though the real red is very pretty, but I like how bold the old olive is. Okay, let's do one more. So it's not Christmas. Can anybody guess what color we're gonna be doing? <laughs> I'm sure everybody can guess. This is polished pink. Um, so I'm doing um, a happy birthday one. So I, want it, I always like to give you guys options. So if you guys are done making your Christmas cards and you're done making your Christmas gift cards, it's okay. We can still do something else with the same design. Peel this off, close it. And I might work a little bit backwards on this one just to also show you that it's okay to work backwards. So I'm going to trim that off. I do want, you do want to make sure you have a flat edge on your ribbon. So we're going to do our, oh, you know what? That's polished pink. Let's do, let's do the um, whites. See, I'm totally changing this up. And you know what? You're allowed. This is your card. You can do whatever your heart desires. So line that up, put it in the center. Let's grab a mini glue dot. Let's do that before we flip that over. Okay, so there we go. And it needs to go right here. That's perfect. Yeah, I actually think the white ribbon actually pops a lot better than the regular or the polished pink ribbon. Like it, I love it. Okay, so this designer series paper is so beautiful. It has been on back order. I don't know how many times. I think this is probably the number one paper that Stampin' Up! is selling right now. And it's in Impressions of Ink designer series paper. It has a whole bundle that matches it. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm actually just using a smidgen of it. Um, the entire pack is phenomenal. Okay, there we go. Let's close that. And the stickiness that's left on these two little edges is more than enough to hold that close. And I am going to put this in before I put the ribbon on the top, just so I can make sure it lines up right. There we go. And I'm just gonna grab a mini glue dot. You will use quite a few mini glue dots on this card. But there's very minimal stamping. And I really did contemplate on doing a no stamping card because you really technically don't even have to put a sentiment on this. I mean, even if you took the Merry Christmas off this, I'm pretty sure 
they're going to know that that's a Christmas card. And if it's somebody's birthday or if you're saying thank you to somebody, then I probably would say thank you or happy birthday. Okay, let's trim this off. Flip it over. I already did tie a bow because I wasn't sure which colors I was going to be using. See, I did already do the polished pink. Actually, that would have been pretty too. But we're going with this one. So I'm going to bring in a scratch piece. And I am going to bring in the Happy Birthday from the Nuts About You. This set is amazing. So fun. Every time I've used this in the class, everybody has died and ooh and gooed over it. So I'm going to grab the Happy Birthday. There we go. And I do have some polished pink ink. Thank you, Heather. Yes, Anna, the old olive does definitely pop. I really hope the camera and the Facebook Live does do it justice because it is super cute. And that is definitely not even, but I'm going with it. Nobody's ever going to know. Flip it over. Make sure you don't see any of my sentiment. Oh, you totally. Oh, my goodness, Anna, you're right. This would be a beautiful baby shower card as well. With a gift certificate in it, or a gift card in it, perfection. You could do congratulations on the new baby, or even just congratulations. There you go. Super easy, super fun, and super duper cute. So the same exact card in Christmas and birthday. You could do the baby showers. You could do happy retirement. Really any holiday, any occasion, this card would be super cute for. And this is my original one that I didn't do the embossing. And hopefully you can see that the embossing does add a little bit of kind of pizzazz to it. So it does brighten it up and make it a little bit nicer. Not that without isn't nice, but it does make it a little bit better. Okay, there are all of your gift cards for today. Hopefully you guys liked them. Thank you so much for all the hearts and the thumbs up, and I totally appreciate it. Please do share the video if you like it, and invite your friends to class or the retreats. Um, January retreat, it is coming up so fast. I cannot believe it's almost here, and Christmas is almost here. It's nuts. The year is almost over, but anyway, I hope everybody's had a great day, and I will see you so, I will see everybody on Tuesday for our next live. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.